I'm Lauren Fogelman, your business success coach with BusinessSuccessSolution.com, working with high achieving entrepreneurs who are on a mission they absolutely want to help their clients to succeed. And they also want a business that supports their lifestyle. Lately, I have had a one track mind and it's all about how to help you get paid what you're worth and have potential clients excited to work with you. Well, one of the things that I talk deeply about is how we get in our own way. Where you get stuck, where you don't think it can happen to you, where maybe you have opposing beliefs, thoughts, or values, and you just can't see yourself moving forward and hold on to those values too. I totally get it. It's part of what we have to look at as we're going moving forward is what's working for us and what's not. The number one thing that I love doing with my clients is to help them quickly turn those breakdowns where they're stuck, where they're feeling the resistance into opportunities. So instead of trying to get away from the problem or feeling like there's a struggle, they're now stepping up to the possibilities. One of the ways that I tend to do that is using the emotional freedom techniques. It's also known as EFT or tapping. Now, if you've never heard about EFT, it's similar to acupuncture, but without the needles. That means that it works on what's called your meridian system, or also known as your energy system. And that's where we either have flow, or we feel that resistance, or maybe you are able to have some success, but you can't hold on to it. And so you backslide, possibly sabotaging, or even ending up worse than you were before you even started moving forward. So the way that your meridian system works or your energy system is recognizing that there's this flow. It's like a river of energy. And if you think about a water hose and there's a kink in that water hose, you can open up the faucet all the way, but the water is just going to like trickle through the hose. It's not going to be full force because that kink is really keeping it from moving forward. What we do then is we take away that kink. So the water hose is just free as it's supposed to be, straightened out. And that water is able to really move forward, it's flowing, and things are working as they're supposed to. Well, that's how we work with our meridian system also, is that when you feel like you have that block, sabotage, resistance, you want to move forward, but a part of you is holding on to what's comfortable, then there's a kink in your energy system. And by using the emotional freedom techniques, which is tapping on different points on your body, we're able to be able to free up that kink so that once again, you're moving forward instead of holding back. It's easy, it doesn't make things worse, and it could possibly clear up something so you can notice an immediate shift and you're moving forward right away. It could be that quick for you. So. What I'd like you to do is, even if you've never done this before, keep an open mind. I will let you know, the first time I was a skeptic, it was really, really strange, something I'd never seen before, and I couldn't see how this possible tapping thing works. But I didn't close my mind to it, so I just want to encourage you to keep an open mind, even if it, you've never done it before, it didn't work for you before. Who knows, this time, Maybe it'll work exactly like it's supposed to. So what I'd like you to do now is think about what is one thing where you feel there's a cash flow struggle, money crunch, there's a part of you that wants to move forward, but who do you think you are to charge that much? Nobody's going to pay that much. Whatever is coming up for you that's keeping you from getting paid what you're worth. And think about that particular thing. And if there's one particular incident that really captures that particular thought that you're having, then tune into that one particular incident as clearly as you can. The more spe specific you are, absolutely the better. Now that you're thinking about that, what emotion do you feel? What's coming up for you? Give that emotion a name. Go beyond good, fine, great, and okay, because those are like generalities, and I like to be really, really specific. So what emotion are you tuning into? If you can rate that emotion from zero being absolutely no emotion intensity whatsoever to 10 being extreme intensity, what number would you give that? And 
And do you feel it in your body anywhere? And if so, what does that feel like? Just tune into all those things. And now you're ready. Uh, what I would say is follow along with me. Repeat what I say out loud. If you're driving, don't follow along. I want you to be safe, safety first always. And if you're around other people and you don't feel it, you can say it out loud, then just say it quietly in your head. It works as well. So once again, if you can, repeat after me and just follow what I'm doing. Starting with the side of your hand, which is called the karate chop. That's in between your pinky and your wrist. With the fingertips of your other hand, you're tapping on that side. About the pressure as if you were drumming your fingertips on a tabletop. Okay, we're ready to go. Even though cash isn't flowing to me, in the way that I would like it to. I feel like there's a money struggle somewhere. A part of me knows what I have to offer is highly, highly valuable. Another part of me doesn't want to charge that much. That's not why I'm doing this. I'm doing it because I want to help people. I'm not sure I can be paid that much. That would be greedy. I deeply love and accept all parts of myself. Now let's go ahead and tap above our eyebrows. I need new clients and I don't want to charge that much. Go, go to the side eyes. Who am I to charge more than everyone else? Under your eyes, running your cheekbones. I feel like a fraud and an imposter. I don't want anybody to accuse me of being a fake. One hand under your nose. I need to work hard in order to earn more. One hand under your lips. People won't pay me. Not that much. Top of your head. I'm sorry, on your collarbone. Others in my field aren't charging that much. Nobody won't pay those rates. Under your arms. The last time I raised my rates, I got a lot of pushback. Top of your head. Am I worth it? Is my program really that valuable? Now let's go to your eyebrows and let's do some positive tapping statements because I like to turn a negative into a positive. I can work more deeply with less clients if I charged more. I like that idea. Throw the side eyes. I don't have to follow what everybody else is doing. I know what I offer is valuable. I can charge for the value my clients receive on your cheekbones. I make a difference for my clients. I know what I'm doing and I choose to own my full value and my full worth. One hand on your nose. What if I can earn more and it was easy? Under your lips. I love the idea that my clients, they're paying for the value they receive. Not just now, but the ongoing value. Collarbone. I choose to be a leader setting the standard instead of following everybody else in the arms. If people are resistant to my new prices, they're not my ideal client. It's okay to let them go. Top your head. I am worth it. My program, highly, highly valuable, worth every single penny and so much more. Go ahead and stop tapping. Take a deep breath in. And check in with yourself. That emotion that you had, did it change in any way? Did it go up? Did it go down, the intensity that you had? And if you felt it in your body anywhere, did that change in any way? And I know that I'm feeling this little like tingle or what I call body buzz right now from the tapping. Maybe you feel that too. I just wanna say that anything that shifted, whether the emotions got stronger or not as strong, 
shifted in how you felt in your body somehow, any shift is a good move. And if you're not down to a zero, I suggest that you go through this tapping sequence with me once again, getting even more specific on what is really holding you back from getting paid what you're worth. I'd love to hear from you as to what you thought about this tapping statement, uh, what opened up for you, how you're going to take some steps to get paid what you're worth. Please go ahead and post a comment, share the video. I look forward to hearing from you. Lauren Fogelman, Business Success Solution, we're growing your business, is my business.